A group of Israeli soldiers felt the need after their military service to speak out about what they had been through in the occupied territories. This became the start of breaking the silence. Our correspondent in Sweden has more. The exhibition Breaking the Silence is now on display at the Army Museum in Stockholm, Sweden. Itamar Shapira, an Israeli ex-soldier, talks to a Swedish high school class. He explains the daily life of an Israeli soldier stationed in the occupied territories. With a cry to the Israeli society that sent us, eh, look at what we've done. Look at the moral price that we are paying for this, eh, for holding the occupied territories, for um, basically holding millions of Palestinians with no rights, eh, with a occu military occupation. Look at what we have become on the personal level and look at what we have become as a society. And we expose those practices. Palestinian civil society in front of us as soldiers, what we become out of that, what rage uh, we have because we are the law there and someone is refusing to stop, refusing not to go, refusing to stay inside his home or inside his village, wants to go to work. And what I would do of any sort of, uh, of disobedience of those uh, this population. It's important for us to expose that in order that, that the Israeli society will have the truth in, its eyes, in, a, in a bigger picture in order to understand that we here we are the oppressors, we are the ones that are uh, violating human rights on a daily basis and we are creating uh, the terror against us basically. Breaking the Silence was born in 2004 when a group of people wanted to speak out about what they experienced and saw during their military service at the West Bank in Gaza. Today, it's a human rights organisation that collects testimonies from Israeli soldiers and ex-soldiers to bring to the Israeli public. Shapira says it is important for the Israeli people and the world's people to know that there are missions whose sole purpose is to provoke. Going into civilian areas to look for the people that will be violent against you. Places that you are controlling them with the people that have no rights, that haven't chosen you as the one oppressing them. This is a war against civilians, a war against society. Dotton Greenwald, ex-soldier and volunteer for Breaking the Silence, thinks that criticism is something that all democratic civilians must do in order to make their societies better. To question the army and to criticize the army is considered to be very uh, a big taboo in Israel. And we have the legitimacy to hold a gun in the age 18, so we have all the right to criticize what we did in words. One of the high school students attending gave a suggestion for what Israel and Palestine should do to be able to live together in the future. Maybe to start all over again and not to belong anywhere. Just start from scratch. NTD News, Stockholm, Sweden.